Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to share a really cool card trick called the jumper. Alright, before we get started, I would first like to point out that this trick has two different phases. Phase number one, I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is, but phase number two, it's a bit different and it has a little bit of a twist. So maybe stick around to the end of the performance at least to figure out if you want to learn this trick or if you just want to ditch and watch a different video. Okay, so with that having been said... Um, let's get straight to the performance. Spectator can touch or pick any card they want. And let's say they touched this one, the 10 of spades. What we're going to do is we're going to leave the 10 of spades right there in the middle of the deck, okay? And we're going to take the 10 and we're going to leave it somewhere in the middle of the deck, like so. And we're going to push it in, okay? So we need to find two different cards to find your card, the 10 of spades. Um, whenever you feel like it, maybe tell me to... Uh, telling me to stop so for an example let's say you said stop right here that's one card and maybe you said stop right here that's those are two cards and let's see how you did you chose a two queen is that's that's pretty sick hey okay? um it's gonna go along with this trick very well you chose a queen of clubs and the queen of hearts now watch this is phase number one if i go one two like that, one card jumps out, and this is going to be the 10 of spades, right? So maybe that was a bit too quick for you, so let's try that again, okay? So um, 10 of spades, it's between the queens, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the queen of hearts, your card right here, and the queen of clubs, and what we're going to do is we're simply going to take your card and the two queens like so and then we're going to take ten of, 10 of spades somewhere in the middle of the deck like so and watch this if i take the two queens the queen of clubs and the queen of hearts like so and watch as i push this card in and it jumps out right back here and that's your card the ten of spades let's see how this is done Okay, so as you can see, this trick has million possibilities depending on what kind of phases you use. Um, I think um, the two cards that the spectator actually chose were the Queen of Clubs and the Queen of Hearts. So another phase that I could you could do is one of these things where their card was maybe the Ten of Hearts and the Ten of Hearts jumps between the two selected cards like so that could be another phase you can add on but anyways let's get straight to the tutorial itself um i think this trick has ma uh, many possibilities so it could be for beginners intermediates or all the way to the advanced depending on um, what kind of sleight of hands you use okay so for the phase number one i was using a control called the well i was using bottom deal as a control okay so it's a really hard technique so it would only be for it would be only for the advanced and it's a bit convincing it's very convincing actually but it's a very hard move so bottom deal essentially looks something like so okay let's say the spectator wanted this card the two of diamonds by the way it's still something on that i'm working on so normal deal would look like this where you have the two of diamonds in this hand but bottom deal deals the bottom card so you have the three of clubs and two of diamonds is right here now obviously that was a bit slow but also um you could see what what is happening right so what i did was i added a little bit of risk kill like that so it, it was a bit bad but then you can still see what i'm doing right so that that's what bottom dealing is right so if you do that it's a bit more convincing, I guess. So that's how I controlled it. And then obviously their chosen card, two of diamonds is right here. So I just said, I will sandwich it right here. And then I already have the two of diamonds controlled to the top. Now that's for the advanced. Um, if you are not for, are you, if you're not an advanced and maybe you're like a beginner slash intermediate, don't worry, there is a different control you can use and it's called the alerting control. I've taught that in my past already and this is what it looks like if you're doing the alerting control, okay? Let's say the spectator uh, wanted this card right here, this card, and that card is a 10 of diamonds. What we're going to do is we're going to leave the 10 of diamonds in the middle of the deck like so and the 10 of diamonds, diamonds jumps back right back up to the top so that's a different control and um depending on what kind of what kind of 
um, magician you are and how long you've been doing this for, you might be using the bottom deal control or the alert and control, okay? So both are really good. So um, let's get to the actual thing now. So once you've controlled their card to the very top, and let's say they chose the Joker, Henry, and once you have controlled the card to the very top, this is what you're going to do. You're going to dribble, and then um, the spectator is going to pick two more cards, okay? So you you can dribble along like this, and then just tell them to say stop. So an example like, like this, stop, that's one card, and let's say they want you to stop again right there, that's two cards. And that's what it looks like, okay? So it's really simple, and if you don't know how to dribble a deck of cards, you can be like, okay, let's just pick out these two random cards. These are really random, and let's see what they are, okay? So it doesn't matter, but for this tutorial sake, we're going to use a two black queens, two, two black kings um, to make this tutorial a bit easier. By the way, these are random cards, so it doesn't matter, okay? So right now you're in this position where you have controlled their card to the very top, either by using the alerting control or the bottom deal. And you have picked, the pick, spectator picked out two random cards. Once you have done that, you're going to push off the very top card and grab a pinky break, like so, okay? On the joker or the spectator's card, okay? So once you've done that, you're going to place the two kings on the top. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab all the cards above the break with your middle finger here and your thumb right here. So you should have three cards right here, okay? So once you've done that, you're going to take your left thumb, strip the very top card, and you are going to line them up really carefully like so. In this position, this should be a double lift, see? And this should be a single card. Again, um, you're just simply going to strip off one card and then from here you're going to grab them at the bottom like so. At the start you're going to flash the card like this but as you go along and you practice more and more you're going to notice that you're not going to be flashing at all. Okay. So from here, this is phase number one, while you're flicking with your left hand, you're going to be flicking down like this. While your left hand is doing that, your right hand is going to be doing this. Okay. Some kind of like this, as if you're counting cards, I don't know. And basically what that does is like, it's a one-handed fan move, uh, move, it just opens it up, okay? So, um, at a performance speed, this is what it looks like. And it makes it seem like the card jumped up to the top, okay? And if you put the deck right under like this, it adds to the effect, okay? So that's phase number one, and I hope that was pretty clear. And phase number two, this is what you're doing. While you're showing that the joker is right between the two kings, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a pinky break on the very top card. Push, pull, there you go, a pinky break. And what you're going to do is you're going to place all the cards at, on the top like so, grab all the cards from the break so you have a quadruple, four cards right here. So grab all the cards up from the break like this, place the very top card, by stripping off with your left thumb at the very top, and this is very important. For the fair, uh, for the second card, you have to line it up with the bottom card right here, the blue card, like this. You wanna be pretty close, like so, okay? Once you have done that, you should be left with a double, and you're going to place it somewhere near the bottom like so, and then from here, this is very important, and it's, it could be a bit confusing, but what you're essentially doing is that you have a double right here and you're gonna grab it by using your thumb, index, and your middle finger if you want, okay? So you're gonna basically slide the card up and as soon as they overlap right here, you're going to um, basically pull, uh, do this kind of motion, okay? So what that does is it separates the double and it brings up the blue card. So as you overlap right here, you're going to bring the blue card up like this, and then you're simply going to grab all the cards like so. So you have this. Basically, you have switched this card with the red card right here. It makes quite a bit of sense. It's quite simple, but um, it does require some practice. So I'm gonna go over it one last time because it may, be, it may have been really confusing. So you're in this position where you have the spectator's card between the two random cards, okay? You're going to grab a, gr grab a pinky break, place all the cards on the top, quadruple now, take all the cards from the break, slide one card off, 
second card line it up perfectly third card down right here and as you pull or push the king of spades up you're going to watch out when they overlap there we go that's an overlap and you're going to start pushing the very bottom card like so and then from here you're going to push the ten of i mean the king of spades and then pull all the cards out you will be stripping a card out and then from here you're going to fan them out like this again and from here what you're going to do is you're going to dribble using your left hand like so take this card put it right here you're in this position now it's the same thing as phase number one now you're going to grab a pinky break on the very top card place two kings like so say you're going to take, you're going to take the king of spades and the king of clubs and do the thing again i think this is where i flashed once and from here what you're going to do is as you push down like this you're going to do this motion so at the same time it looks like this it has this uh jumping effect that's why this call this card trick is called jumper and that's pretty much what it looks like and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i know it was long and there were two different phases i hope you learned something new from this and if you like my video maybe um give it a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you guys next time peace